Good afternoon, YouTube. Today we are doing a coil bag, an airbag install on the rear of this 2012 Toyota Prius. And this is so that you can tow with it. We have a tow hitch back here. And this is to add extra towing capacity. We have one side put in. Let me show you right down there that the airbag goes inside the coil springs. Basically, you have to jack the vehicle up so that the coils extend all the way. The wheels are off the ground, as you can see here, about two inches, two inches off the ground. And uh, you put your jack stands in there. You see the jack stand up there. And then we're going to use a, uh, a regular jack just as a backup. So we have one in. We're going to show you how to install the second one. Now, the, the, the instructions for this item says to uh, install the, the air hose on the bottom. Now, if you look here, the bottom on these coil springs, it's a bucket. And there's no hole for the for the hose to come out, so you'd collapse your hose. Well, you, so what we did, the hose would be exposed. The hose would be exposed too to the to uh, debris, road debris, and everything else. So what we did was we routed the air hose through the top, as you can see, and the airbag faces up. the uh, The nipple on the airbag faces up. We're putting this one in now. You have to collapse the bag completely like this. And it works with two people better than... Two people better than one. So I'm going to hang up in a minute, stop the video, and help him put the bag in. But you can see the hose is coming down. There's a donut up there to protect the connector. And then we're going to put the bag in through the bottom of the coil spring. You're going through the, the first rung of the coil. All right? I'm going to be back. Partially in. We're going to put the hose onto the nipple while we still have room. And the key to getting it in was to collapse the ends of the cans flat, like kind of like you would flattening a beer can. Both ends were folded in. So and then you slide, slide it, slide it through slide the it side in. of the coil, through one of the rungs of the coil. Right. And this one was the widest of the available and it gave us the opportunity to pull it down from the bottom. Okay, I can't see what I'm doing. All right. So now we're putting in the uh, the air hose while there's still room because it's a press fit. Once you, you push it in and you pull it out, it locks onto uh, it locks onto the hose. So while it's still semi collapsed, as you can see, we're going to. Uh, Get that I've, got, done. I've got to get it straighter. It's yeah. too much of an angle. Okay, we'll come back. Eggs are in, and we rode them up a little bit so that when we collapse the coils, they won't uh, crimp anything. So let's see if I can get you in here and see. Probably not. The hose is up there. The hose is in the. That's a donut up there to protect protect the top the connection on top of the bag so that yep. that bag is in and this bag is in both fed from the top and then we have the hose the hose coming out see that's the hose goes through the top of the shock to i mean the uh, spring tower yeah and there's no chance of coming out of there's this no chance of coming out of the bottom i can show there. you the bottom now you see yeah the bottom. i'm gonna go around the, the bottom back. bottom would be exposed if yeah. we get it through the bottom yeah and i'm gonna run the thing along the shock because this is the stationary end of the shock up here. Yeah, yeah, and, and zip tie it on there. Yeah. And okay. Then... Well, that's the uh, that's that part of the install. And then the next is just running the airlines to the outside so you can pressurize them. Okay, that's that. Okay, installation is complete. Car is back down on the ground. Bags are at 12 psi each. You can see they're kind of squeezing out a little bit of the of the springs. This one you can see a little better. Okay. Fully inflated. And we have the the air lines are right here on the bumper on either side. Either side of the oh, that's my finger in the way. Either side of the the toe 
hitch. You can just jack them, or rather fill them right up. They're right there. So that's what the full install. Took a little bit over an hour, about an hour and a half roughly. And most of it was just trying to get the the bag squeezed in to the uh, to the springs. That is the end of that project.